Hello, uh, good morning. This is Siva Devaki from um, Mass Mailer. Thank you so much uh, for joining the webinar today. Uh, today I'm going to talk about um, the merge fields uh, that Mass Mailer actually supports. Um, you must be knowing that Mass Mailer supports the merge fields that are uh, from the current object that you're sending emails to, such as like if you're sending emails to contacts, you can um, you know bring in the data from contact or maybe the related. Uh, lookup object such as account, you can get, get the data from the account object because it's, uh, it's a related object. Uh, but how do you actually get the data from the child objects? That's what I'm going to talk about. Uh, when I say child object, um, just assume it is uh, a related list in, in Salesforce. If you go to contact, you may have related lists such as say cases, an example, right? Um, or opportunities. Uh, so those are related lists that you see as uh, tabular values. Um, you know, it's a, it's a key aspect of uh, emailing. Sometimes you may need to get the data from the related objects and, um, you know, how do you really get that? So that's exactly what I'm going to talk about, you know, how to merge the data from the child objects into mass Miller email templates uh, like with Salesforce itself. Um, if you are familiar with Salesforce, um, you know, I'm sure you must have heard of this term at least, uh, Visual Force email templates, uh, which is um, you know, very old way of uh, getting the data from other objects um, and then, you know, put that like email template into uh, a proper email structure, but it has the data, uh, dynamic data that you can get from uh, Salesforce objects. Um, so uh, I'm not really getting into a full fledged uh, like a, a tutorial about how to create this uh, visual force email templates. The assumption is made that uh, you, you're not you, I mean, it, it could be your admin or a consultant uh, who you're actually working with is actually capable enough to build the visual force email templates. Um, uh, what we have done in Mass Mailer uh, recently because this uh, feature has been requested by many, many customers on, hey, how do I really fetch the data from the related objects is very important. Um, so, uh, well, we, um, didn't have a solution before, but now we do have it. Um, making some tweaks and uh, you know updating a patch. Uh, so there's no. If you find the latest version of Mass Miller, it's nothing that you need to do other than just you know go on and use it. Uh, but just give it a, a, a week or so. I was just making some final tweaks, uh, and then it should be good to go. Uh, but I thought maybe it's very important for me to talk about it ahead of time. Uh, but uh, just uh, take it a fact that it's available in Mass Miller. Um, and you should be able to try it out. Uh, so basically, uh, now Mass Mailer supports Visual Force email templates. Um, again, there's a certain way of using this. Um, the standard uh, approach is what I'm going to talk about right right now. And there are very other, I mean, there are certainly complex ways of getting data from uh, related to related objects and stuff like that. But let's just focus on very simple use case scenario, um, not complicating at least for this webinar, right? Uh, so what we will, uh, what we are providing in Mass Mailer is uh, support for the Visual Force template, and your team will have to build the logic to fetch the data in in that Visual Force email template, um, and then like put it in the proper layout that you need it. Somebody who knows uh, Visual Force uh, uh, email templates, uh, you know, design and everything they should be able to crack it. And if you do not have any team who can actually build it, you can rely on us, but it's gonna be a paid project for us. So we will have to charge you for whatever time it takes uh, to build those templates. Where if it's critical for your business, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't want us to help you. Um, but this is more like uh, making you uh, aware that uh, you know what is possible and what is not possible. And I'm sure we are gonna add more and more um, you know, uh, features to it so that you can get uh, data from complex uh, object relationships that you may have Salesforce, but this is just the beginning. Um, and we also provided uh, a support uh, for you to add this Visual Force email template into uh, a Mass Mailer advanced template. I, I know it may uh, sound a little complicated, but it's uh, easy once you actually take a look at it. Uh, so what it means, if you are using Mass Miller templates, so if you're building the templates using Mass Miller template builder, um, you still will be able to use the Visual Force templates. You just have to embed whatever the name is, the Visual Force email template into um, the Mass Miller um, advanced uh, template. 
Uh, so I've just given the syntax, but I think once I kind of show it to you, you will understand uh, you know, what it means. Um, and on the use case scenarios, this is just like you know, what I heard from other customers, but the use case scenario that you may have could be completely different, which is fine. Um, but this just to kind of understand, uh, make you understand that you know, what is possible. Uh, let's say you have uh, a need to send out emails to contacts, uh, but you want to inform them about the open cases or whatever, um, you know, any cases that uh, they have uh, opened today and you want to send an email to them and say that, hey, these are the open cases that you have. So let's say that's your requirement or maybe just the invoices, right? So there could be any number of uh, reasons why you would want to bring in the data into uh, an email um, that gets the data from the related objects into a Tableau format. Uh, I'm just talking about uh, Tableau format because it's uh, very uh, common. Um, just because you have multiple records that you're looping through and then get that data. Uh, but it doesn't need to be tabular format, just let you know. It could be one record, it could be any, any format, it doesn't matter. Uh, so the goal is to get the data from the child object. Um, or maybe you're actually sending a, a financial portfolio performance report and then you need to get some data from the related child objects and then you know that's what your need is, right? Uh, maybe you need to get a donations report made by specific donors and you know, you got to loop through all the donations and uh, get the data. Or maybe you're sending an email uh, about the opportunities that you have, uh, and it's a related object, and there could be multiple opportunities, and you need to fix that, fix that data. You know, it could be any anything that you can think of that is, um, you know, a requirement for you in which you got to get the data from the child objects. Okay, uh, so let's take a look at um, how this actually works. And I'll actually show you, um, just gi I'll give you a quick demo uh, just by selecting uh, a bunch of contacts and then selecting a, a actual template and then send an email. Uh, and then I'll get into the details of actually what does it have, uh, the template. So all I'm doing here is selecting uh, a contact list view, as you can see. Uh, there are four of them on mine. Uh, so just to show you that you can send it to multiple people. Um, and then I'm actually gonna go select a template uh, and the template is coming from the standard, uh, the temp uh, template folders that you may have. And I'm selecting a, um, a template here called uh, Daily Digest. And I'll again get into the details on what does it have and everything, but let's just assume that, safely assume that, you know, uh, you're selecting a template, it's got some syntax, we'll get into the details, right? Um, and then I would just go next page, next page, all default options, um, nothing complicated, just keep going. And finally, all I would do is just click on this launch button and that's going to send an email, right? So um, all I did was uh, select a bunch of contacts and select a template and then I just sent an email. Now, uh, let's take a look at uh, what I'm getting here. Um, so this would actually send email to those contacts, uh, the recipient contacts, uh, with the information that is populated in those templates. So uh, let's take a look at uh, what kind of uh, information that I'm getting. As you can see, um, just now I got this, um, you know, there, um, basically it's populating the list of cases related to that particular contact. Um, and it's got the case number and the stats and everything and another email to Jordan, um, third email to someone else. And, you know, so basically it has different contacts it's sending to, um, and then it is actually populating the list of uh, cases. Um, now let's take a look at one of the contacts so that you kind of visualize the data. So now you see the email um, and I'm just gonna go show you one of the contacts that actually received this email. Um, and again, this is, uh, you know, email is mine. Uh, this is one of the contacts uh, and it has two cases to it. Uh, so the two cases are, uh, you know, these are the two cases, um, 1048, 1031. Um, so let's see, this is the one uh, sent to Jordan and then two cases that are related to the, that particular contact. And that's a tabular information. So you just populated that information just because uh, contact, this contact has um, those cases related objects. So 
th this is what exactly what we populated. And how did we do that? Um, now, um, so just to show you the template that I was using is um, in this particular folder. Let's take a quick look at the actual structure of the uh, email template, right? Nothing complicated as such. So all I have is this template that I uh, used. And this template has <clears throat> okay, so there's some uh, snippet uh, here, like HTML snippet right there. Uh, all it has is, I'm just gonna break this up for your like information. So let's just visualize this. So it has, so this is just to kind of like a, a container thing. But this is an actual Visual Force template that we use. And this is the API name of the Visual Force template. All we did is like I want to use this one in my uh, template, and then uh, you know you just wrap it between these two, um, the API name start uh, and the API name end. You just have to give that name. That's it. But now the tricky part is uh, building this Visual Force template again. Somebody uh, who knows how to code uh, in Salesforce, uh, they can actually build this, no big deal. Um, again, take a look at that. Uh, so we have template contact two cases. Um, that's the template. So again, um, uh, if you're uh, having someone who is uh, knowledgeable about how to build this, so you basically go to classic email templates under Salesforce setup, right? Um, and then go to the specific uh, folder, uh, wherever you have it. So contact the cases, so this is the one that we actually used in this example. Uh, and it's a visual force template, right? Uh, so if I edit this, uh, you can't really see anything here, the code actual code. So if you go click on this edit template, um, it will show you uh, the actual visual force code. Uh, not that you really need to understand, you, know, uh, you just have to kind of imagine that you know, the logic is built here. Um, so we are sending email to the contact. So the related to type is the contact is where we have, and you know some mandatory field. What is the subject in the reply to? All of that is populated. Um, so here is where uh, we have that simple loop uh, that is actually displaying that particular table. If you look at this, we are saying uh, related to cases, which is contact cases, right? And you want to loop through, repeat and you want to populate the origin, contact email, and status. So these three are the fields that are actually getting displayed. And if you try to compare this, uh, look at this origin, contact email, and the status, and the case number, right? Um, the four fields. So case number, uh, email, and status, and origin. So there are four fields that we're displaying in this. So this is the one that is actually doing the trick um, that fetches the data from uh, respective contact, and then it is going to the cases for that particular contract and then populating that. So this is a logic that anybody can build if uh, they know how to build this visual force templates. Um, and then the uh, key thing is mass mailer to support this and which is uh, which is done from our side. Um, you know, it's, it's uh, ready, uh, should be fine. Um, but again, as I said, it's one little path that we can apply, uh, should be ready uh, maybe by tomorrow also, uh, but by next week, for sure, you'll have an update. Um, and then you should be able to use this feature, no problem at all. Okay. Uh, so again, uh, just to take you back here, uh, if you see that, uh, all we are doing is we are just embedding that uh, Visual Force template um, into your mass mail template. But if you actually wanted to use your Visual Force template directly, that's not a problem. You do not want to insert that into here. No, no problem at all. And how do you send it uh, from um, like, like you created a visual force template, you wanna use that, right? That's not a problem. So all you need to do is again, just go back here and then select your contacts. And then you have the list view that you want to uh, send emails to. And then um, you're actually gonna go select the specific folder uh, and you're selecting that Visual Force page template. So now we actually display the Visual Force templates in this uh, uh, template selection box. Um, so here you can see that I'm directly using that VF template here. Yeah? 
um, and then it's populating something. Don't, don't make any changes here. Just keep the way it is. If you want to make any changes, you have to go to Salesforce uh, setup and then open up the template from there and then make the changes. Uh, we're actually going to go hide this, or maybe we're going to turn off uh, so that you will not have any option to edit this. It will be read only. Uh, we'll make sure that that happens. And then you go to the next page um, and keep going. And then um, um, delivery options are good. So we're just going to go and launch this. So that's basically is uh, another way to send out emails. But in the scenario, you're not really embedding that VF template into mass mailer template. Uh, you're straight away using that VF template into uh, the outreach wizard, uh, which is now supported, as I told you. Um, so if I refresh this, it'll have the same result. There's no difference as such, except the fact that it's going to use that uh, um, <clears throat> Uh, visual force template directly. So it'll have the same same result. Okay. So that's another way to send out emails. Uh, again, I'm uh, happy to uh, kind of uh, work with you if you have any questions. Um, as you can see, uh, so it is actually bringing that data, right? Um, and it is sending an email, uh, a quick email to the recipient uh, contacts that we selected. In this scenario, we actually sent email uh, to the contacts, but we straight away select the visual force template. Um, it's just a matter of uh, building that logic um, in the template, um, and I, you should be good to go. Uh, not complicated as such if you have someone who knows how to code. Um, if not, no problem. As I said, Mass Mailer Professional Services team can help you. Uh, you just have to let us know what your requirements are, and we'll let you know. Um, you know, um, again, uh, we probably would be able to give an estimate, but if not, we'll just charge you whatever time that you spend. Any questions? Um, anything that I can clarify? Okay, seems like uh, no questions there. Um, again, this is a weekly webinar um, and then uh, it's scheduled on Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific. Um, um, Again, happy to clarify any other questions if you want to send out an email to me or just send it to our company email address or you can call us or call me. Um, and if you're new to Mass Mailer, uh, please feel free to uh, go and get, get into a trial. Happy to set up a trial for you as well. Um, and if you're, again, uh, interested in like, joining other webinars, it'll be published on our website. We'll send an email. Also, it'll be published to our social channels as well. Um, and then uh, the recording for this webinar will also be shared if you are in our email list. Okay. So again, thank you so much. And uh, please go ahead and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, so if you just go to YouTube and then type in Mass Miller, you should be able to find our uh, channel there and go ahead and subscribe. And you can uh, turn on the notifications as well because all these videos will be uploaded to our YouTube channel as well. And they're again posted back to our website too. Um, once again, thank you so much for joining the webinar today, and I'm hoping that you uh, did, you know, kind of understand um, you know, how Mass Miller can support uh, the uh, related object data. Uh, but I would love to see our clients using this feature and give us a feedback, and you know, uh, try to do whatever creative ways you can bring in the data. And then if uh, if you have to, um, you know, make any uh, updates to our package to support your needs, we will. Um, I know there are many, many ways to bring in the data from complex related objects, uh, such as visual force components, which we really, which I did not really talk about. Perhaps I'll, you know, um, this is just the beginning. Uh, you know, perhaps if I find a use case scenario where it is going to be very important, I'm happy to kind of walk through on how to embed a visual force page component into a visual force. Um, uh, visual force page email template. So it's it's a little, again, technical. Uh, but again, from a business perspective, if you can think of what your use case scenario may be, uh, we'll be able to let you know, hey, you may need to use this or use that and do this and do that. Um, and if we still have to support in mass mailer for any reason, uh, we'll certainly make those tweaks in our package. It's not a problem. Uh, once again, thank you so much for attending this webinar and looking forward to seeing you again next week. Take care, have a good day, have a good night, bye-bye.